Yeah, what's up Rebels? What's up Pride Crew? Doug here in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, only a few hours away from, uh, one, we are only a few hours away from Atlanta where they are having the Super Bowl. And two, I am shooting this video only a couple hours before the Super Bowl starts. So, uh, Sunday walk and talk. Of course, as always, my walking partner, idiot number one, the biggest bitch, the queen bitch, lazy bitch, right here. There she is. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, what's on her mind for this week? Well, as always, we'll talk about uh, training. Training's always the top of the list. So, uh, this past week, I actually. Um, I don't want to say that I took a deload week, but I definitely, I definitely took it easy. That's for sure. Uh, still, a little bit of strain uh, in my muscle, in my leg. Uh, oddly, of course, if it's not one thing, it's another. My back is feeling almost a hundred percent. I can really, really say that. Um, my mobility and. Uh, you know, my pain is pretty much, mobility is almost back to 100%. Pain is almost completely gone. I'm almost to the point where, you know, I'm not thinking about it. That's when you know that your injury is gone is when you don't think about it anymore. When you go a whole day and you go, oh, wow, my back didn't hurt at all today. Yeah, I'm almost there. Once in a while, I do some things where, like at the end of the day, you know, I'm a little tight. But um, aside from that, it's, it's nothing bad. So uh, that's good. Back is almost 100% again. And oh, wow. Somebody in my neighborhood is uh, grilling ribs. I can smell it. <laughs> Smells good. Uh, so uh, I'm healing that up. Uh, Lindsay's still working on her back. Uh, deadlifts are still being a bitch for her. Although her bench press. As I've said, week after week, her bench press keeps going up. So uh, her bench press is doing good. Uh, back to me, uh, kettlebell. Yeah, I kind of took this week easy. Uh, did some single arm work. Um, did a couple of ladder workouts. Uh, nothing crazy. Um, kind of happy with, uh, I did hit uh, on a minute set, uh, 20 RPM on jerks on 20s, which I've actually never done before. Um, not sure that I've exactly tried. I've definitely hit uh, 20 reps, 20 RPM on 16s and on 18s, but I don't think I've ever done it on 20s. Uh, and of course, I have yet to do it on 24s. That'll, that'll be the day. Um, but uh, that was good. So uh, oddly, as much as I was taking it easy this week, I actually hit a few PRs. Uh, I hit a hang clean. PR, O lifting, uh, double hang clean, uh, 175, which is like 15 pounds away from my max clean PR off of the floor. So my hang PR, my hang clean keeps getting better. My clean off of the floor is uh, still uh, not 100%. It's not where I want it to be. So um, got that. Uh, then I hit uh, a PR on uh, 18 kilo. I hit a PR on 18 kilo, uh, snatch 10 minute. Um, so I've, I can pretty routinely just about any day of the week do, uh, 200 snatches on 16 kilo. Um, never actually tried on 18. So, uh, that's what I did. Did a 10 minute. I was not planning on doing 10 minute set. Okay, I was planning on doing uh, a six minute set and man, I was rolling. And when you're on, you're on, man, you just roll. So uh, although it wasn't planned, did 10 minutes uh, and hit 200. So happy with that. Uh, next step, of course, some point in time, I have to hit 200 on 20 kilo, uh, which I've never done. Um, as I've always said, I'd like to do a biathlon set someday just for fun. Uh, 
I should work my way up to 24. Of course, I'll have to start at, you know, 20 kilo. Believe it or not, um, I've never competed in biathlon. I've done plenty of uh, biathlon practice sets in the gym. Not plenty, but, you know, a handful, a few. Uh, but I've never, I've never competed in biathlon, and I've never done triathlon, and that is actually one of my goals. I actually do want to do triathlon, and I really wanted to do Cali Open this, this year with the triathlon setup, um, and just, uh, you know, travel and money and finances and the schedule at the gym and injury after injury after injury, um, Still not quite sure. You know, I mean, it's only three weeks away. A plane ticket's going to be pretty expensive at this point. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to make it out there. I don't know if I'll make it to Ice Chamber. Um, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but I went to Ice Chamber last year. So, I used to switch always. Uh, I would alternate uh, the Arnold and Ice Chamber since they're so close together. But um, I won't be going to the Arnold anytime soon. <laughs> but... Uh, <clears throat> You know, I was I was gonna go to Cali Open, but I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll see. Never say never. Um, what's next? Of course, I'm getting questioned by people. Uh, you know, am I going to compete this year? Uh, yeah, I I will be competing this year. It's a question of uh, what competition and. Um, when and where is basically what that's going to come down to. You know, people are asking me about Serbia and IUKL Worlds and all this stuff. Um, you know, I'm not going to be able to get to WKSF Worlds, that's for sure. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to get into all the political and personal BS and all that drama. Um, do I want to go to IUKL Worlds? Hell yes, I want to go. Um, it's not even a question of you know, political stuff or drama or anything like that, it really is just coming down to my health. Um, can I lift? That's the, that's the question. Um, you know, it's, it's just uh, whether or not I can stay healthy. I mean, that's all there is to it. So anyways, that's all of my BS uh, for this week as far as training goes. Like I said, Lindsay's Training is going good. She's struggling on deadlift still a little bit. Squat and bench going good. Uh, our people are getting ready for USPA uh, North Carolina Championships, which is next month. It is in a very short eight weeks from now. So our people are really starting to hammer down on their um, on their program. And speaking of their program, uh, we got some. Very cool information from Lindsay's coach, Mr. Scott Shetler from Atlanta. And uh, I'll be rolling through. She's going to roll through uh, a big uh, deadlift block to try and fix uh, her deadlift and get stronger. I'm actually planning on rolling through uh, a nine-week. It's a nine-week block. I'm going to roll through a nine-week uh, squat block. So, um, you know, it's three weeks of, uh, it's five, three, one, but it's high box parallel and then low box. And then, you know, you free squat and you should, uh, PR that free squat at the end of that nine weeks. So we'll see how that goes. Should be interesting. Um, I'd like to, uh, I'll chronicle this. I'll make some videos on it. Um, but, uh, our people getting ready for USPA, their, their programming is, starting to ramp up and they're starting to hit some some big lifts and some big numbers confidence is starting to grow you know it's cool to have that vibe in the gym with all of your people uh getting better and making big lifts and being super excited about it um it's always fun to see that as a coach uh kettlebell people as far as my coaching goes um i've got some guys that are going to test out of you know, I say test out, it's not like an official thing. It's just like uh, we want them to hit a certain benchmark before they compete. So I got a couple of guys are gonna test out of there. Uh, I have a couple of kettlebell visitors from out of town. Uh, and they're going through some training. And what else is going on? 
As far as my guys competing, uh, we're planning on doing Georgia, Atlanta. Uh, there's a big fitness expo down there this year, uh, which should be cool. Uh, we are also planning not an expo, but a very large fitness event that we will be hosting in September with uh, powerlifting and strongman and kettlebell. We might get a lifting in there too. Uh, same thing, that big expo down in Atlanta, that's gonna be the same setup, uh, but different organizations. But we're trying to get that all put together. So that should be very interesting. Um, then, oh, oof, just got stuck. Somebody, uh, hey, don't go around, look at this idiot. God, don't go around the fucking stop sign. Now I have to rotate around here. Good Lord, this dog. This dog pisses on everything, I swear to you. So, um, what else is going on? Uh, ooh, we have another exciting program coming through at the gym. Uh, so we're working on, we have some uh, connections to some jujitsu people and they are training at the gym and we're gonna be setting up a strength and conditioning program for jujitsu and MMA fighters. So should be very, very exciting. That's coming through. I'm still working on my secret project, which uh, I'm still working with my client and our partners on that. Um, it's uh, rolling, it's getting very exciting. And later on this summer, we will be releasing that big secret uh, and what we've been working on is very cool. Um, what else is going on? Uh, working on some other videos and some blog articles and stuff like that. Uh, tomorrow's Monday Motivation. Uh, if you tune in today's video and you wanna know a little sneak peek about tomorrow's video, tomorrow's video is uh, all about time and uh, what we do with the hours of the day and how time is the great equalizer. So uh, that is for tomorrow. Uh, my, my big thought for today, uh, today's Super Bowl, as I said earlier, uh, there were a lot of people in the gym yesterday and a lot of people preemptively, just in case they weren't gonna be feeling too good tomorrow after staying up late tonight, maybe having a bit of food and a bit of drink, a lot of people came into the gym today on Sunday. And, um, you know, I just want to say that that's, you know, I applaud that. That's, uh, that's someone, those are people that they're, they're in touch with reality. They know that uh, tomorrow they may not be feeling too great. So they got in tomorrow's workout, they got it in today. And, uh, you know, big thumbs up and a big uh, pat on the back to those people that dropped into the gym today to get in tomorrow's workout. Uh, because, you know, if you know ahead of time that, you know, things are gonna happen on Sunday night with the Super Bowl, you know, it's best to get that shit in and get it done so they can take tomorrow off. So that's a good thing. Uh, that's, that's being a, a responsible lifter, which I do applaud. Uh, and I, I, have a, I have a little bit of respect for that mentality. So uh, good work to you guys. Uh, all right, so everybody stay safe. Uh, don't drink and drive. Have fun and get a good night's rest. Still gotta get your ass up and go to work on tomorrow is Monday, all right? That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.